interesting division problems. Part 3 Today we will learn how to solve problems in real life using division. Today, Mummy has given 126 rupees as pocket money to Vandana and asked in how many days she will be able to spend this money. From my school canteen, I buy one kachori each for 7 rupees. So, like this, every day I spend 7 rupees. Vandana now has to find out in how many days she will be able to spend 126 rupees by spending 7 rupees per day. Can you help Vandana find this out? Let's see how Vandana solved this problem. To solve this question, I have come up with a technique. I will write 126 on a number line. And now if I minus 7 from 126, I got to know that after one day, I will be left with 119 rupees. Now I will subtract 7 from 119. The answer is 112. By this I get to know that after two days, I will be left with only 112 rupees. Likewise, I will keep subtracting 7 on this number line till I don't reach the figure 0. So once I reach the digit 0, that will mean all my pocket money is spent. Now I just want to see how many times 7 had to be reduced to reach 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I will tell mummy. Mummy, 126 rupees will be spent in 18 days. Vandana, I saw that you found the answer to this question by subtracting 7 again and again. But you can also use division rather than instead of subtracting the number in this way. But mummy, how can we use division? Division is used when we want to divide things into equal parts, right? Absolutely correct, Vandana. And even in this question, you are distributing 126 rupees in equal parts of 7 rupees. You also look at this question. Do you think mummy is correct? Oh yes, you are right, mummy. I did not notice that. Now that you know, try solving this question using division too. Yes, mummy, I will do it. But I remember the table of 7 only till 10. And the 7 tens are 70. 126 is greater than 70. So how do I divide then? Even if a number is greater than 70, you can still divide it. Look, I will show how to divide. 7 ones are 7. Left 5, right? Let's write down 6. So it's 56. There are 7 eighths are 56. Remainder 0. The answer is 18. This means that you spend 7 rupees per day. Then you will spend 126 rupees in 18 days. Do you see Vandana? Even after dividing, the answer is the same as it was during repeated subtraction. Yes, mummy. Now I understand that division can be used instead of subtracting the same number repeatedly. Yes, Vandana. Now you've understood it completely. Today we learned that the division can be used in place of subtraction when the items are to be divided evenly.